Hi everyone! Today we'll learn about CRISPR, a gene editing technology. You can think of it as a pair of scissors used to cut DNA. But how exactly does it work? Well, in the 1980s, scientists observed something very interesting in bacteria DNA. The DNA would have repeating sequences of identical DNA. Sandwiched between these segments would be a completely different sequence of DNA, known as spacer DNA. They named this arrangement as CRISPR, clustered regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats. But they couldn't figure out the reason for this peculiar arrangement. In the 2000s, scientists realized that this was part of a bacterial immune system. Now, when a virus infects a bacterium, it inserts its own DNA into the bacterium's DNA, which causes the bacterium to produce more viruses. These viruses then burst out of the bacterium, killing it in the process. But in 2012, doctors Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier discovered how the bacterium used CRISPR. If the bacterium survived the virus attack, it would save a segment of the virus DNA and insert it into its own DNA. Over time, a bunch of viral DNA snippets would accumulate in the bacterium's DNA. This accounted for the strange pattern scientists had observed. The spacer DNA was actually viral DNA. The bacterium would then produce two types of RNA, CRISPR RNA, which was a copy of the viral DNA, and tracer RNA. These two RNA strands would attach to an enzyme known as Cas9. The CRISPR RNA would guide the Cas9 enzyme towards a matching viral DNA strand. If a match was found, the Cas9 enzyme would snip the viral DNA in half. The cell would try to repair the broken DNA, but would often make errors. This virus DNA couldn't be used to create more viruses, and thus the cell was saved from a virus attack. Dr. Doudna and Dr. Charpentier also discovered that the two RNA strands could be CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA could be combined into a single RNA strand with a hairpin loop, which they called guide RNA. Now, all a person had to do was create a guiding RNA strand and they could cut DNA wherever they liked. The CRISPR discovery leads to a whole new world of possibilities. Compared to older methods of gene editing, such as zinc finger nucleases and talons, CRISPR is cheaper, more precise, and much easier to handle. Scientists can understand how genes work by deleting them and then observing the, cha the cell for changes. More importantly, CRISPR has been hailed as a potential cure for diseases such as HIV. Just like the other viruses we discussed, HIV inserts its DNA into the cell's DNA. Scientists can create a guiding RNA strand which complements the HIV DNA. Once paired with Cas9, the guiding RNA leads Cas9 towards a matching HIV strand. Just like in bacteria, Cas9 cuts the viral DNA, reverting the cell to its original healthy state. There are many other possibilities. In order to infect a cell, HIV must attach to a certain protein called CCR5 on the cell's surface. Scientists have created a complementary guiding RNA strand to the CCR5 gene. Using CRISPR, they have been able to delete the gene that codes for CCR5 and thus make the cell HIV resistant. When the cell replicates, the daughter cells would not receive the CCR5 gene and thus be HIV resistant too. CRISPR holds much potential in the realm of disease. However, much work remains to be done before it can become a reality. Viruses mutate all the time and change their DNA so that Cas9 can't recognize it. The Cas9 enzyme itself can also make mistakes by cutting the wrong DNA sequence. Despite these shortcomings, CRISPR holds great potential for the future and promises to revolutionize disease treatment. Thank you.